that late, or are you expecting to be done by two, anything like that? I do have to leave early, but... Okay. And I'm just here for do the Do we basics. have to quit because you leave? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay. That's, key to yeah. That's why we have multiple people. The, the, yeah. These are funny sounding yeah. questions that no. just... Nope. Good questions. It may be helpful to know that how we did the audio training yesterday was that the first part of the training concerned basic operation from, yep. the, from the sound yep. end of it, what we call a hot mix, right. where folks can come in and push a single button and be able to hook up a single... So you're a sound guy at heart, aren't you? Uh, I, you know, I'm cables and cords. I don't, I don't care. That's <laughs> One of the things that I discussed with <laughs> the installer was get an that idea um, what's on we'd be able to pre-program a setup of lights where somebody could come in and hit a hot switch mm -hmm. where you know there, there'd be a, a pre-programmed set for... A yep. presentation that's being held yep. that would you have this type of a setup. You have at this point 12 of those pre recorded on a touch screen that is connected on a portable cord up next to the soundboard right now. What that allows you to do is take it into the light booth where the control console is and where you want to keep the control console because there's not room for two on that very big soundboard. But sound guys always take up a lot of space. <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> Um, That's why they're on separate days. <laughs> <laughs> they have my thumb drive. <laughs> because somebody in the front office thought that all techies were the same, so they gave my thumb drive to the sound guys on a day when I wasn't here. Ooh. Probably didn't help. Them. And I haven't seen them again since. Um, anyway, so yeah, you'll be able to take the touch screen and plug it into a different plug upstairs. Use the board to set what you want the stage to look like press and hold something that says preset 1 through pre preset 12. And at that point, after you hold it for two seconds, it will record. And then later on, you tap it. And then anybody you don't know, want to know about the record function, you never tell them that press and hold is an option. They won't do it. <laughs> um, there's also some built-in things that are on your push-button stations around. So let's just start there. 